Well, in the spring, you got that bicycle, you got to get it tuned up before you hit the road. Kelly, United Cycle, what sort of things do we have to go through if it's just a standard wear and tear on a bike? In the spring, what do we look for? Yeah, well, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, an older style 10-speed like this one or a, or a more mid-range or high-end mountain bike. Uh, every bike, as it comes into the season, needs to be looked at no different than your car. So, like, ones that we're looking at here, we're going to put some new tires on because it's you're getting some cracking in the tires on this one. You can see there's no grease whatsoever on this uh, car set in the back the chain is rusted um, so it you know a bike like this needs a full tune-up and I would imagine like a car brakes are important it's great to go but if your brakes aren't working not adjusted properly is that the kind of thing you look for uh, every spring yeah yeah absolutely so it's just rubber right it's no different than your car tires so uh, the rubber can dry out can harden out can crack depending on how the bike was stored and the weather it's gone through so you want to make sure uh, you're looking at that and also I mean the the brakes are designed to clamp against the rim in, in a brake style such as this so you got to make sure that the pads are actually lining up with the rim and haven't been jarred or uh, the last thing you'd want is to come to a red light and then nothing happens. <laughs> no brakes. I would imagine just loose bolts too. Not that the seat going down is going to kill you, but the handlebars, that sort of thing. We should you be checking bolts even on the wheels? Yeah, it's, you know it's funny. We say that uh, when a guy brings his bike in, one of the things we do is we give it the drop test, just like this. And this will actually tell you a lot. You hear, can hear some things rattling and stuff, and gives you an idea of, of maybe what to look at. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things. You know, from the the uh, calipers on the handlebars to the stem into the wheel the crank set, the seat into the back wheel area, there's a lot of things that over time can come loose and you want to make sure that those things are tightened up. Now I would think too a lot of this you can do on your own some of it and if your bike's a standard bike and you're used to doing it you know how to do it but sometimes an expert it's worth a look-see, would you say? Yeah, absolutely. So things like this, I mean, this is a disc brake set, so very similar, to, again, to vehicles as opposed to a caliper set that we looked on there. So there's a lot of fine-tuning that can go into a disc brake set that if you get playing with it a little bit too much can really set it off. Uh, you've got front suspension in this bike here, so if you start getting it in there, and, and whether it's a air, or gas, or sh uh, shock, you start mixing around with that, you could put yourself in a bad situation as well. Bottom line, everyone forgets it too, and I always remember, just like the furnace, end of the season, get it done. But get it done early because the rush is going to be on. Brad Walker, Callie Hodson, we'll see you next time.